let's hope for our line to be Bell, Levitri, Wood, Howard, and Rado, as opposed to Wang somewhere in there for Wood. Show for week 14 against the Browns. Okay, top story, Bills fans, the weather. Last couple times we played the Browns, in terrible weather. How do you think this is going to affect the, the game here? Um, just like probably the other ones, if they're low-scoring games, there will probably be a lot of wins, so it'll probably be a lot of running, which means the Bills have defensive line has to step up, but hopefully we luck up and I don't mind the cold, I just don't want the wind. Yeah, I agree. Uh, okay, Justin, uh, what do you think? This is man's weather here. I'm going to love it. I'm going to love watching people shivering and crying like little schoolgirls. I'm thinking that this is going to be a, a nice low-scoring game where the Bills can't get carved apart from 200 yards of rushing. And I think it's going to be more of the same for the Bills as far as offense goes. Run and hope that the quarterback doesn't get killed. Okay. Uh, now it's time for the offensive breakdown. Um, how will the O-line injuries impact the Bills? Okay, um, they've lost a lot of key players, and clearly it affected them last game, I thought, in Kia. So how do you think it's going to affect them this game? It's, it's going to still have the same effect, because it, it messes up the continuity. Like I always say, they don't get a chance to play together, they don't get a chance to mesh and gel, so it always throws something off when somebody gets hurt. Alright, Justin, so how do you think this is going to affect them? Well. It's going to be pretty tough, especially if we have to have uh, Andy Levitri snapping or Ed Wayne or somebody like that. Let's just hope Wood is happy. We need a healthy Wood, you know. So <laughs> I'm going to say let's hope for our line to be Bell, Levitri, Wood, Howard, and Rado, as opposed to Wayne somewhere in there for Wood. Yeah, I heard him a lot, didn't I? We, we want less Wayne. We want Wood. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> this is a family show, come on now. <laughs> no. um, Alright, um, now, obviously, when you're breaking down the game, they're going to take a lot of running, um, so what do we think? Well, look for Spiller to get 15 carries, Jackson get about 25, Peyton Hills to probably get about 50 because they're going to try and run it up the gut on the Bills. Uh, so, same thing for you, probably? Yeah, they, I mean, nobody respects our run defense, and Peyton Hillis has come out of nowhere and been a good running back, so I think they're, they're going to try it just like everybody else has. Biggest steal of the year, they're trading uh, him for Brady Quinn. I think that's the biggest ripoff of a trade I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, now it's time for the, the defense. Uh, the Browns have not allowed any team to score 30 points. I don't think it's going to be a factor in this game because it's, if it's going to snow and be messy weather, it's not going to be probably a lot that many points put up anyway. Um, so, but what do you think about the Browns and Mr. Q? Um, I actually didn't know that they were that good, so it was kind of surprising because... And they played no, the Steelers and the, and the Patriots. Right. So. Nobody's really talking about the team as a whole. You never really hear about them. So, it'll be an interesting matchup to see what the Bills can do against what seems to be a halfway decent defense. Okay, Jess, what do you think about that? Well... It's going to be kind of interesting, uh, especially when you have guys like uh, Abram Elam and uh, Chris Kong playing very well this year. But you can't really say anything about them. They are the no-name defense for sure. All right. Uh, uh, how do we stop Peyton Ellis? I mean, he just, he's good. So what do, you, what do you think? Clone Kyle Williams. I mean, we really just don't have the players otherwise, uh, especially with Dwan Edwards down. That was a big loss. Uh, really, you, you just got to hope people step up and do, uh, do their job against uh, Cleveland's good offensive line. All right. Um, Nakia, last came, obviously, Brett Favre got injured and really affected the Bills' game plan, I think. Um, so how do you think, what would happen if they knocked the loam out in this game? I think it would probably have the same effect. I, with the game on Sunday, I thought we had a better chance of winning if Brett Favre would have stayed in the game because we all know he's going to throw four or five interceptions. 
Jake DeLong, you kind of plan to play him. So you know kind of what to expect because that's who you paid attention to all week. Somebody else comes in, it's just going to be, you know, a crapshoot. Whatever happens, happens. Well, that's an, yeah. I'm going to say that, yeah, it could be bad. I think it would be worse if they put in Seneca Wallace over Colt McCoy, though. True. Seneca Wallace has a completely different style because he's a lot more mobile. Pay, uh, I'm sorry, Jake DeLong, he's a statue. Colt McCoy, well... He's somewhat mobile, but he's a rookie. I would say that the bigger thing would be not allowing them to have Seneca Wallace behind the snap, uh, besides, behind, blah, 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 behind center. Maybe it's the meat I'm eating right now, I swear. Oh, he likes his meat. Okay, um, now it's time for our topic of discussion. It comes from Hill Rage. Um, and it's one where Ralph sell the team. And I don't know if this is coming from uh, whether the Sabres are going to sell their team or not, um, but I don't think Ralph is selling the team. Um, he's made it quite clear that he's not going to sell them while he's alive. So, um, yeah. Um, I'm with you. He's not, he's never going to sell the team. Um, it'll transfer whenever he dies, but as long as he's living and breathing, you know, he's going to be the owner of this, of the Buffalo Bills. Alright. Yeah, same. Uh, yeah, I think the Bills will be sold when Ralph is six feet under. Hate to say it that way, but that's just the truth. All right, and now it's time for our keys and picks to the game. Um, my key to the game is run the ball, obviously, with the weather. I think it's going to be terrible. I'm not looking forward to it, um, especially how bad the Bills have been. Um, so, the weather. Uh, Nikki, what about you? I'm thinking they need to stop Peyton Hillis. He's been running over people all season, so I just want, you know, maybe the train will stop with us. All right, what about you? Score first and then turn out the power. <laughs> okay. Um, and now it's time for our picks of the game. Um, I picked the Browns to win this one in a close one, 20 to 17. What about you? Wow, high scoring. I'm actually going to go That's like the lowest with, score ahead on game. I'm yeah. actually going to go with the Bills, but I'm going more of a 13-10. 13-10. Okay. Mm -hmm. How about you? I'm going to say Bills, 3-2. to two. <laughs> Okay, quite a lot of score there, Justin. Hey, you got to set your standards low for when these two face each other. I. That's they, they set back football 10 years every time they play. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you for joining us this week. Join us next week for the uh, Miami Dolphins. Thank you. Really? You'd rather have Wang jokes over me eating meat? You love meat, don't you want to? Oh, but we all know you love Wang.